So when this whole thing broke, people were a little confused. So what, in a natural course, you know, when you're running at paid ads, you know, when things go awry, whether there's a national tragedy, like someone dies or something like that, the whole thing is like, hey, maybe we need to pause our campaigns or tone them down. And that's just natural. So at the beginning of this, what happened was everybody started pausing their ads. Clients were calling us. I heard from other agency owners as well as friends of mine that, whoa, everyone's pausing everything. The ones that didn't pause, what they saw was that traffic was super cheap and they were getting more bang for their buck, right? And as everything's kept closing and changes were going and rolling throughout the country, people were looking at it and clients were looking at it going, wow, we're getting a lot more traffic. Maybe we should increase our ads because they were actually getting conversions as well. So in the first couple of weeks, you saw it die down a little bit and the costs went drop dramatically across the board, Facebook, Google, everywhere. Then two weeks in, say around April 1st-ish, what really happened was everybody was like, we need to increase our digital spend. And this happened at e-commerce brands, this happened with just marketing agencies, you know, everybody and their brother and sister was going, hey, we have an opportunity here because everybody's on their phones, people are working from home on their laptops. So let's just think about how this works. Think of a highway, right? So you're driving down the highway and you have billboards. There's always so many billboards on that highway. So when that highway, before this all happened, you know, there was a, a decent amount of traffic, but there was room for cars to come in and out. There was plenty of space. You're just cruising down the highway, billboard pops up. That would be your ad. People would see it. Then what happened was that whole highway vacated. There was only a handful of cars on the road and people would see it, but it was very few, but it was cheaper because they're trying to serve that up. That billboard would come up faster and faster, more and more billboards because they were the only people on that road. Then all of a sudden, on April 1st, everybody got on there. Now you have a log jam. Now you're just going very slow. Costs started shooting up because everybody was fighting for those same billboard spots. And that was really a thing that we're seeing now, you know, fast forward a few more days, is that cost is increasing. And this is where you need to know what you're actually doing because digital can be funky, you know, and I think anybody watching this, you already realize that if you've ever run a Facebook ad, an Instagram ad, or any digital ad, some days you're getting this crazy traffic and then it drops. And some days you're getting everything and then it, it evens out and you're like, oh, this is good. You're cruising along, you're getting conversions, you're getting traffic, things are moving. Then all of a sudden it stops for no reason because they play around with the algorithms. And once you spend more money, or even if you're spending less, you wanna maximize your dollar spend. So you need to know exactly what you're doing, what to do in those peaks and the valleys so that instead of going like this, you have a steady growth. And those are super important because if you don't know what you're doing and you're just putzing around, you're gonna lose more money. And that's not really how you want to operate, especially when dollars are thin or they need to be maximized. So make sure you understand how it works, how the algorithms are working, what's legal and not legal because Facebook and Google have put restrictions on products that are out there. And it's been very fascinating, but the whole gist of the story is if you're seeing very cheap traffic when this first started, it was because everybody paused their ads. Then everybody got back on the train or on the highway in this case, using the same example, but then everybody else did because their events were canceled. They had to start moving things forward and digital was the best way to go. If you're running ads right now, a couple of the things that you want to look for is, does it match up with some of your historical data? Now, keep in mind, you're looking at a different time and place, no matter what, even if we weren't in a pandemic or whatever. But the big thing is, is when you're looking at the data, just see where you had those things this time last year, right? So if you're going into a busy season, you know those numbers were skewed. Um, if you're going into a slow season, you know those numbers are skewed. So take something historically that was a baseline or to use as a baseline that isn't manipulated by holiday season or a strong season if you're a summer product, you know, your sales spike. So take something that's normal. Use that as a little bit of a you know, a barometer, a measuring stick that you can make sure that some of these things that are coming back, you can bounce off of. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, you can almost take that and throw it out, but you need a place to start. So you wanna take a look at it there. Like, hey, we were getting leads for $13 a lead 
um, they were good, but our really ones that are converted were like $57 a lead. <clears throat> so you have that, and you're just gonna compare it to right now. Now I will tell you this, the algorithms at the moment on both Facebook, Instagram, and, and Google are all over the place. And you really need to understand how it works. You know, my team right now is looking at it instead of, you know, twice a day, once in the morning and once at night, they're looking at it about four to five times a day, depending on the type of ads people are running. In e-commerce, they're adjusting almost on a daily basis. Now that sounds counterintuitive if you've ever heard me spoken before that you don't want to be in it that much, but right now you have to be. So it becomes a daunting task, especially if you're running large budgets, to be in there all the time, but you really have to monitor it. Um, if you're product, if you're in e-commerce, if your product and you advertise um, or you have masks on your website, you could actually not be approved for ads. And that's the other side of it. The approval process has changed because there's a whole backlog of more ads being in there. Tools aren't working as effectively. Um, if you are using the basic tools on Facebook or just the back end of AdWords and you don't have an advanced tool. You know, all these things are creating factors that are creating, um, you know, a little bit of chaos. So the bottom line is, is if you are running ads, make sure you understand how they're working right now. If you need to talk to somebody or if you need to reach out to an agency, you really should because you might just be burning dollars that you don't need to be and you just need a shift. That doesn't mean that it can happen in five minutes and everything's going to be rosy again. But at the same time, talking to people that are running ads across multiple industries and other areas, they can really start to work on those things and help you actually maximize what you're spending right now because everybody's going digital.